Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got an equilateral triangle whose side length is 1. That means each side is 1 as you can see in this figure. And moreover, we have got these three green squares inside this triangle with side lengths x, 2x and 3x as you can see in this figure. And now our job is to calculate the value of x. I have decided to solve this problem using two different methods. One is with trigonometry and the second method is going to be without trigonometry. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and label the points. I'm going to call this vertex an A, this vertex B, and this vertex C. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And we know that all these green boxes are square, so therefore the side length is going to be same. For this smaller box, the side length is going to be this one x, this is x, and this one x. And for this middle box, if this side is 2x, so this is going to be 2x, this side is going to be 2x, and this side is going to be 2x. For this larger box, since this side is 3x, so this has got to be 3x, 3x, and 3x. And we also know that this triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle, so therefore all these three sides are going to be same and each side is one unit as well. Now let's focus on this tiny triangle over here as you can see. And I'm going to call this smaller triangle as a D B E. And now let's focus on this left hand side this triangle and we are going to call this triangle A F G. Now let's focus on this triangle A B C and this side A B. As we can see this side A B is equal to this segment A F right here and then 3x which is right here and then 2x which is right here and then this x which is right here and then plus d b so therefore our goal is going to be to calculate this side length this segment a f how much is that side and this one over here d b and since all these green boxes are square and here's the definition of a square. All sides have equal lengths and every interior angle is a right angle. That means 90 degrees. That means all these angles are 90 degrees. So therefore we conclude that our triangles BDE and triangle AFG are right triangles. Now let's once again focus on this triangle ABC. We know that this triangle is an equilateral triangle. Therefore they're all three sides going to be same and moreover these three angles are going to be the same as well. That means this angle is going to be a 60 degrees. This angle is going to be 60 degrees as well and this angle is going to be 60 degrees and the sum of these three angles turned out to be a 180 degrees and now for our convenience i'm going to call this segment db i'm going to call it a units that means db equals to a now let's focus on this smaller triangle bde I have just magnified this one over here, same thing. 
And for this triangle, this side DB is A units, and this side DE is X. All right? And now we are going to use the trigonometry. And here are our trig ratios. So, Cartoa, sine, cosine, and tangent. As we can see that we have been given adjacent and opposite. So, we are going to use this tangent which is opposite over adjacent. So, therefore, we are going to have tangent of 60 degrees. This angle 60 degrees equal to opposite in our case is x divided by adjacent is a. And we know that the tangent of 60 degrees is square root of 3. I'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 equal to x over a. And let's go ahead and crisscross, cross multiply. So that is going to give us a times square root of 3 equals to x. And since we want to isolate a, let's divide both sides by square root of 3. So therefore, our a value turns out to be this and this cancels out x divided by square root of 3. Just keep in your mind. Now let's focus on this triangle BDE. Now I'm going to show you a second method. And here I have once again magnified this triangle BDE. As you can see over here, we know that this angle B is 60 degrees. This angle D is 90 degrees. So this angle E has got to be 30 degrees because some of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. And now this is a special case for a triangle which is 30, 60, 90 degrees. And the ratio for that kind of triangle is 1, 2, and square root of 3. That means if this side is 1x, this has got to be 2x, and this is going to be x times square root of 3. But we know that this side DE is x units, and this is over here is x times square root of 3. The only way we can make it x by just dividing this by square root of 3. If I divide this side by square root of 3, I am going to divide each side by the same quantity by square root of 3. So that means this cancels out. This became x. And on this side, this bd turns out to be, I we call this bd as an a, isn't it? So a turns out to be equal to x over square root of 3, which we already got it in a previous step. Same values with two different methods. Now let's focus on this triangle AFG over here. And we can see that this angle is, this angle A is 60 degrees, this is 90 degrees. So this angle has got to be 30 degrees. So this is also a 30, 60, and 90 degree triangle. So therefore, these two triangles, BDE and triangle AFG are similar triangles by angle, angle, angle theorem. So that means the ratio of their sides is going to be same. And here is our triangle AFG. I have just magnified it over here and we know that this FG side is 3x. And whereas this triangle BDE, this has a side x and this side, the horizontal side is a. So this got to be 3 times a. So therefore, our side AF turns out to be 3a. 
And here's our next step. We know that AB equals to AF plus 3X plus 2X plus X plus DB from the previous step. And we know that AB is the side of this triangle ABC. And we know that this is side is 1. So AB equals to 1 equal to AF in our case is 3A plus, let's put down 3X plus 2X plus X and plus we know that our DB equals to A. Let's simplify that one. So 1 equal to 3A plus A becomes 4A plus 6X. And we know that A value we figured out is X divided by square root of 3. Let's go ahead and replace that one. So I can write 4 times X divided by square root of 3 plus 6X. And I'm going to put 1 on the right hand side. It doesn't make any difference. So we can write 4X over square root of 3 plus 6x equals to 1. Now let's remove this fraction by just multiplying across the board by square root of 3. Let's do that one. So this cancels out square root of 3, square root of 3. So we got 4x plus 6 times square root of 3 times x equal to square root of 3. Now let's go ahead and factor out x over here. x times 4 plus 6 square root of 3 equal to square root of 3. Let's divide both sides by 4 plus 6 times square root of 3 to isolate x so this cancels out so we got x equal to square root of 3 divided by 4 plus 6 times square root of 3 and we know that the square root of 3 is approximately equal to 1.7321 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so x is going to be 1.7321 divided by 4 plus 6 times this quantity is going to give us 10.3923 so that is going to give us 1.7321 divided by 14.3923 so thus x turns out to be approximately equal to 0 0.12035. So thus our x value turns out to be approximately equal to 0 0.12035 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.